Hello children, welcome to our video 1 of civics lesson. In the earlier chapter, we have learned about democracy and ways of participating in the government. We participate in the government through election and we elect the representatives. But then, what next? What do these representatives do? So let us understand what's next through this lesson. As you all know, our country is divided into states, districts and villages and at each level it has the government form. So today we are going to see Lesson 5, Panchayati Raj, the lowest form of government in our country at village level. What are we going to learn more in this chapter is Gram Sabha, Gram Panchayat and three levels of Panchayat. What is Gram Sabha? Gram Sabha. The word itself suggests us Gram means village and Sabha means assembly or a meeting of the people. So meeting of the people or village people. So the Gram Sabha is a meeting of all the adults who live in the area covered by a panchayat. This could be only for one village or for a few villages. Anyone who is 18 years old or more and the one who, is, who has the right to vote is a member of Gram Sabha. Gram Sabha meeting begins with the panchayat president. Panchayat president is also called as serpent or head of that village and the members of panchayat is panchas. Various issues are discussed in the meeting. Now what issues might be discussed at village level? Of course, it might be road facility, water facility, schools, medical facility and many more. In this chapter, we have the story of Khandwas village and we are holding, holding a meeting of Gram Sabha. Hardas village is in the Kargal district of Indian Union territory of Ladakh. But before that, let us see how this Gram Sabha and the village panchayat, the village panchayat is divided into wards. And then we'll learn, we'll see what happens in Hardas village. Every village or a panchayat is divided into wards that is smaller area and each ward elects a representative who is known as ward member. All the members of the Gram Sabha also elects the Sarpanch who is panchayat president. The ward panch and the Sarpanch form the Gram Panchayat and the Gram Panchayat is elected for five years. The Gram Panchayat also has a secretary who is also the secretary of Gram Sabha. This person is not elected by the government. But the secretary is responsible. Sorry, this person is not elected person from the of Gram from Gra, Gram Sabha, but he is appointed. Secretary is appointed by the government, and it is his responsibility for calling the meetings of Gram Sabha and Gram Panchayat and keeping a record of proceedings. Now, why this Gram Sabha is important? Gram Sabha is the key factor in making the Gram Panchayat play its role and be responsible whether the elected members are doing the work, are the problems of the people being solved and the measures taken. All these things are going to be discussed in this Gram Sabha and address the issues of the village people. It is a place where all the plan of work of Gram Panchayat are placed before the people. Like the, pres uh, the Panchayat President also suggests what type of things is being done for the village or what is the plan, the future plans that they have planned for the development of a village. The Gram Sabha prevents the Panchayat from doing wrong things like misusing money or favoring certain people. It plays an important role in keeping an eye on the elected representatives and in making them responsible for persons who elect. Them. So let us see how this Gram Sabha of Hadas village keeps an eye 
on this panchayat president like misusing of money or has he favored someone so yeah let's listen to the story of hardas village where the gram sabha has been called a villager called tija begins the meeting by saying the water problem in hardas has become very acute the hand pump potter has gone well below the point up to which the ground has been drilled we hardly get any water and because of this the women have to walk 3 kilometers away to get the water to suru river so the people start suggesting the various ways how can they overcome this problem so one of the villagers says that piping water from the suru river and making an overhead tank in the village will increase the supply of water but the other people think that yes this is a good suggestion but it might be very expensive so it's better they feel to deepen the hand pumps and clean the wells for the season but then teacher says this is not enough we need to do something more permanent as ground water level seems to be going down every year we are using more water then is seeping into the ground so the another member anwar tells that everyone that he has seen ways of conserving water and recharging or refilling it in a village in maharashtra where he had once gone to visit his brother it was called watershed development and he watershed development and he had heard that the government gave money for this work in his brother's village people had planted trees constructed check dams and tanks so everyone thought that this plan was interesting this idea is interesting and gram panchayat was asked to find out about this in detail the next item on the agenda of this hardas village gram sabha was finalization of the list of the people below poverty line which had to be approved by gram sabha like as soon as the list is read out people began to whisper and this list has been read out of the of the people whose name has been enrolled or has been included in the list of below poverty line so that we get some help from the government so as soon as this list was announced people began to whisper they thought that natwar who has just bought a color tv and his son has also sent him a new motorcycle how can his name be included in poverty line then one of the person says that how did birju's name did not get into this list he has so much how does birju's name also get onto the list birju too has a good life and this list should only include who are really very poor he also further says that an om prakash is a landless free laborer who can barely make ends meet yet his name is not on the list and she further says that maybe natwar and birju are the fair friends of amirjan the one who is the panchayat president there or sarpanch and who can encounter his power Suki Bai says that Amir Chand was earlier zamindar of village and still has control over a lot of land, but we should get Om Prakash Nim put into the list who is really very poor. Then Sarpanch notices that the people are whispering something, so he asks, "What is the matter about?" Then Suruj gets up and says that Om Prakash Nim should be there in BPL list. Others agree that and his family is very poor. The sarpanch asks how his name has been missed out. Peter who did the survey of BPL families, then Om Prakash says that when I went for the survey, Om Prakash house was locked when I went there. He might have gone out to look for some work. So, the sarpanch in this gram sabha has to take the decision and give instructions that Om Prakash family income to be looked at, and if it is less than what has been decided by the government. His name also should be included in the list. This was how the Gram Sabha held at Hardas village solved two problems. First, the major problem, water problem, wherein they are going to 
go for the watershed and second the BPLH which was announced and the persons the actually the person who was poor whose name was not included that also was brought to the notice of Sarkar. So this is how the Gram Sabha works where people come to know where what the Panchayat or the Gram Sarpanch is doing and the problems faced by the people are also discussed. Now let us see the executive body. The Gram Panchayat meets regularly and its main task is to implement development programs for all villages that come under them. The work has to be approved by Gram Sabha. In some states, Gram Sabha forms committees like construction and development committees. These committees include some members of Gram Sabha and some from Pajan who work together to carry out a specific task. Now what kind of work does the Gram Panchayat includes? The work of Gram Panchayat includes the construction and maintenance of water sources, roads, drainage, school buildings and other common property resources. As I've already told you, the levy and collecting local taxes, implementing government schemes related to generating employment in the village. And then to do all this development, do the construction communities where do they get money or where do they get funds from the collection of fire sources of funds of panchayat are collection of taxes on houses marketplace that we to play house tax the government scheme funds received through various departments of government through the jetpot and philamari donations for community works etc move on with now we'll see the three levels of panchayat now after reading what happened in Gram Sabha and Gram Panchayat in Hardas village you have understood that panchayat ras system is a process through which people participate in their own government in rural areas the Gram Panchayat is the first tier or the level of democratic government you can see at the lower level at the Gram Panchayat Gram level the Panchas and the Gram Panchayat are answerable to the Gram Sabha because it is the members of Gram Sabha who had elected them. So this idea of people's participation in Panchayat Ira system extends to the next two levels. One is the block level which is called Janpat or Panchayat Samiti. And Panchayat Samiti has many Gram Panchayats under it. Whereas Panchayat Samiti is District Panchayat. Above Panchayat Samiti, there is a District Panchayat which is also called Zilla Parishad. Zilla Parishad actually makes the developmental plans at the district level with the help of Panchayat Samiti. It regulates the money distribution of money among all the Gram Panchayats under it. Within the guidelines given in the constitution, each state in the country has its own laws with regard to Panchayat. The idea is to provide more and more space for the people to participate and raise their voices. So this was all about Panchayat Raj system. I hope you have understood what is Gram Sabha. Gram Panchayat, Gram Sabha is a meeting of the people about 18 years of old, 18 years of age. Then Sarpanch or Panchayat President is the head of the village and the three tier system of Panchayat Raj, which is Panchayat Samiti and District Panchayat or which is also known as Zilla Parishad. The lowest form is your Gram Panchayat. Okay children, thank you.